Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a proper stop motion. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over the obvious things that you are going to need first and then we will go into the harder and maybe things that you guys wouldn't really think of so easily. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first and quite obvious thing that you are going to need is a doll. I have Sophie here with me to help me out with this video today. And um, she is just I, my American Girl number 55, if you didn't already know. Um, so yeah, that's her. And then the second most obvious thing is that you're going to need is a camera. You can use an iPhone or maybe it's an iPad. But for me, it's this camera and it is a Canon Rebel. And just a disclaimer, this camera is um, is a quite professional camera and um, it is a little bit difficult to use so I don't really recommend it for beginners um, but yeah if you have a bit more experience with cameras this is a great camera but if you're just learning how to use a camera it's not that great because it is a little bit difficult to use so just wanted to let you guys know okay so the second thing that you guys are going to need actually wait this is the third thing yeah sorry the third thing that you guys are going to need is a tripod Hang on, I'll just take the camera off the tripod right now. See, here's my tripod. There you go. And I'm going to be using that to make my stop motion. That's what I use for all my videos. Um, so yeah. So the next thing that you're going to need is pretty obvious, is a set. And um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your whole set ready before you start filming your stop motion because you don't want to be like running around and adding chairs like part way through the stop motion so you're going to want to make sure that you have everything inside your set before you start filming and for me my set is just Sophie's bedroom and I already had it pretty much set up before I started filming because I just always have her room set up so I didn't really have to do much but if you're like making a new set or something then you're definitely going to want to have it set up before you start filming. Okay, so the next obvious thing that you're going to need, well, this isn't quite as obvious, but it's sort of obvious, is you're going to want to make sure that you already have a storyline before you start filming, because you don't want to just have, like, the doll walking around, and then, like, you realize that she actually, before she started walking around, she needed to, like, go to the bathroom or something. I don't know, I'm just kind of making stuff, something up. But, um, yeah, so you're definitely going to want to have a storyline in your head before you start filming. Okay, so now that I've gone over some of the easier, more obvious tips for making a stop motion, now I'm gonna go over the sort of less obvious tip. The first thing is doll attire. Like if your doll isn't like dressed very well and her hair is looking messy, your video won't like come out um, as great. But I just brushed out Sophie's hair today, so it looks nice. And she's dressed in a pretty nice outfit, um, so you want to make sure that your doll is like looking nice for the video um, so yeah I think that some people might not think of that as much but um, you're just gonna want to make sure that your dolls are looking really nice for your video okay so the second thing that you are going to um, need well not the second like the actual second thing so, like the second thing was a camera but like the second less obvious thing um, okay yeah I'm gonna stop talking now okay so basically if you don't have a tripod you can always use like a stack of books or a Kleenex box, like, like this. This is a Kleenex box. Um, I just had that in here, I don't know why. Um, so you can use like pretty much anything that you can stack your camera on if you don't have a tripod, but I have a very good tripod, so that's what I always use for my videos. Okay, so the definite last tip that I have for you guys before we get started with the video is yourself. Like, you should always be comfortable when you're making a video. Like, if you're getting too tired, then your stop motion's gonna end up being really choppy. So if it's like later in the day, you can just stop and like work on it again tomorrow. Or if it's like in, like in basically in the morning, then you can just take a break and then like come back to it later because I know that stop motion can be a lot of work. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you are well rested and at your best to make your stop motion. Also what that means is you're going to want to make sure while you're actually filming, you're going to want to make sure that you are actually like happy and comfortable and not miserable and not feeling like you have to be doing this like you're doing this because you want to be doing this. And also I recommend that you listen to some music when you make a stop motion. Like um, I just go, go into my iTunes and then I just go into the playlist that I have. Hang on, I'll show you. So, um, all you're just gonna basically wanna do, 
sorry. Um, um, so all you're gonna want to do is just like go into your go into your iTunes and then just start at like the beginning of your playlist. Um, and then you can just listen to music while you're filming a stop motion and I find that that really helps like keep you like moving and going and it helps keep you pumped up and really excited to do the stop motion. So um yeah. Okay, so those are all my tips for you guys before we get started. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so one thing that I forgot to mention is how to make your dolls blink during the video. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that really quickly. Okay, so here's Sophie and I'm going to be showing you how to make your doll blink. So what you're going to want to do is, I hope, you, I hope you can see this guys. So you're going to want to close their eye like that and then just push some of their eyelid their eyelash, sorry, underneath their eyelid like that so that they can close their eyes while they're standing up. Okay guys, so I have my camera set up in front of my doll and I'm gonna start filming and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Okay guys, so I have everything set up. I have my camera sitting on like a whole bunch of tissue boxes and stuff and then I have my camera up there on my on my tripod. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that the camera is like pointing at the right angle towards the doll, like I have it right here. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that your uh, camera is steady on the tripod, and then you're gonna take your first photo, so yeah. Okay, so I have my camera ready and on, and I have Sophie, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make the stop motion. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna move the doll a little bit. I usually move them move it that much. And then you're gonna wanna, hang on, then you're gonna want to take a photo like that and then go back to the doll and then move the doll just a little bit more like that and then take another photo and then back to the doll again and then move her a little bit more then take another photo like that and then you're just gonna keep doing that until you get the whole thing done. And I know that sounds pretty crazy, like I don't even move the doll that much, but that's pretty much what you have to do. So, um, yeah. telling you for tips about making a stop motion. So um, what you actually, uh, another thing that you might actually need if you're like filming or like really far away, like if your like doll is like across the road and then your camera's on the other side of the road and then you're like moving them across the road, one thing that you might wanna have is a clicker. This is a camera clicker, so you can just plug it in to your camera and while you're, you don't have to actually like go to your camera and like press, um, press the button, you can just like, click at the end of this and it will take a photo. It's not actually plugged in right now so I can't really show you, but um, when you plug it in and you're far away, you can just click it and then it will take a photo. So like you can like stay on like basically like the other part of the street um, when you're taking photos. So that's really cool. So you might need one of these. Okay guys, so I just wanted to make a little short stop motion for you guys to show you how I do it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make that little stop motion and I, I will be showing you it. Just okay, so I'm gonna start show you what your stop motion will probably look like when you're watching it on your camera. So I'm just gonna show you what it will kind of look like. So just so that you can get an idea. Oh. Okay, so that is basically how the stop motion 
will look. When Once I've done my stop motion, I usually load the photos into iStop Motion to make the pictures faster. And then after that, I uh, put them into iMovie to do the voiceovers and stuff and add like the other editing things to it and like add the sound effects and the music and stuff. Um, and maybe if you guys really like this video, maybe I'll do like another video where I show you guys how to edit your stop motions. But I think for now, that is it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.